What the? No way. There's no way he's actually posting a video. No way. Yeah, that's right. I'm that guy over there, and I'm actually posting a video. So, uh, a lot of you were kind of worried that I was going to disappear, and I really thought that I was for a while there. But, a lot of you will be happy to learn that I'm not going anywhere. Even if I do eventually leave the channel and kind of abandon it, I will leave it open so you can watch all these videos. So, uh, yeah. All these videos will always be here. You don't have to worry. And, uh, so yeah, this is a tutorial. The title of the video probably gives it away, but it's a tutorial on how to make enemies flash and not do a weird jumpy animation. So, I'm gonna have to do this really fast here. Alright, I have no idea what this is. I guess it's gonna be a bird? I don't know. Yeah, it's a really weird looking bird. But, uh, so this is gonna be... Yeah. How to make enemies flash in a nice way. This is mainly for, like, shooter games and stuff. Okay. Whoops. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. That's really not what I meant to do. Alright. So the bird itself, that face isn't going to be animated. But... Alright, I gotta... Speed up here. So I'm just quickly, quickly animating something. Alright, I probably should have done this before I started recording, you know. But... Who thinks about this stuff when you're on the internet? Oh, that is terrible. Yeah, I usually... Usually animate a lot better than this, but... For the purposes of this tutorial, I gotta do it really, really fast. Alright, is that good enough? Sure better be. Alright, it's meaningless to set the speed of the animation, because it's not gonna make any difference. Because... What we're gonna do is go into its alterable values here, and we're gonna name one of them Animation Frame. And this thing is going to, well, usually I put it right in the thing's behavior, so if I copy it, it'll still copy. The behavior is just a sequence of events that's associated with the object itself no matter what, so if you copy it, it's going to have its behavior. And, uh, okay. Always, we're going to put always here, and we're going to go into animation, change animation frame to drumroll animation frame. Wow. What a shocker. Anyway, put that to animation frame, and here's what we do. So, if you don't do anything after that, and you play the thing, it's just gonna sit there. So, what you have to do is we have to make the animation go. So you go... I'm just gonna put every 10. You can change that however you want. We're going to add to animation frame 1. Alright, now let's play it. Hmm, didn't quite finish there. That's because I didn't loop it. So, well, real quick, while we're in here, I'm going to change one of them to flashing. Make a new animation called flashing and just paste that in there. And just overlay all of these with a nice white color. All the frames and make sure that you have the exact same frames in the flashing animation except lighter lighter colored so the reason it didn't loop is because the animation frame just keeps going and going goes up to like 20 and 30 and there's not 30 frames so obviously it's not going to be able to play that wow i'm making good time i thought i was up to like seven minutes by now but uh... it's only been about five that's pretty cool oh yeah just a really quick side note, a lot of you wondered, or specifically one person wondered, what that constant trickling is in all my videos. There's an aquarium in my basement where I record these, so that's that. The filter of the aquarium constantly makes that sound. Alright, so back to the tutorial. What we want to do to loop it is we say, when the value of animation frame is greater than 4, 
we're going to reset the animation frame to zero. And you're probably wondering, well, shouldn't you set it to one when it reaches five? Well, no, because this is zero-based. Animation frame one is actually frame zero in terms of value. So this is actually frame four in terms of values and this is frame zero. It's really weird, but it's zero based, not one based. All right, so this should work now. And there you go. The bird is walking in place. Also, we're going to make a flashing animation for this thing. Set flashing, and I'll do the same thing. Usually I actually take like a color, whoops, take the color and actually make a lighter value of it like that. You know, why don't I actually do that? Da 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 da, -da. alright, good enough. So, this guy doesn't have any animation, but we're gonna make him flash too. Alright, second value, we're gonna name that Flash Timer. And this is gonna be really important. Okay, so, we're gonna go into its behavior again and say, when Flash Timer is greater than zero, and we're gonna import the bird's head, gonna set this animation to, well it doesn't have flashing on here because in the behavior for some reason it doesn't appear, but we're gonna say 12 because that's the number of the animation that it is, and we're also gonna put that for the bird head. And also when this is greater than 0, we're gonna subtract from flash timer. And when flash timer reaches 0, or it's equal, we're gonna restore the animation sequence of both of these things, okay? Alright, so into the main events here, we're just going to make a really simple, you know, repeat while key is pressed, whoops, actually, repeat while joystick is pressed button 1, we'll say, and every, uh, no, 0.16 seconds. This is going to shoot an object, a bullet, to the right, at speed 35, and when this thing collides with the bird's head, uh, let's do an or, or it collides, collide, darn you, collide, yeah, thank you, oh, this is taking way too long. Alright, so if it collides with the bird head or the bird's feet, it's going to destroy itself, and it's going to set this thing's flash timer to, well, okay, let's set it to 5, and we'll see if this works. So I can go boom, aha, see? Boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, the animation does not reset. It keeps going exactly as it should be. And I hope you know what I'm talking about in terms of, like, the resetting of the animation, if you do it any other way. Like, if I, instead of doing that, set animation to flashing, here's what's going to happen. It's not going to do anything. That's weird. Oh, that's because, uh, the animation frame stuff. Anyway, but if you do it any other way, it kind of resets the animation, and it's really annoying and looks really weird. So this is a way you can make it do it seamlessly. But the problem is you have to have a corresponding, <coughs> excuse me, flashing animation for every animation you have. So it's best for, like, simple shooter games when you're not going to have a lot of animating and stuff. It's just going to be ships coming in animating generically. And, uh, yeah. I think that's it. I can increase the firing rate of here. And the higher you set the flash timer, of course, the longer it's going to flash. Two is the lowest you can put it at, and it'll flash for one frame and then revert back to its original animation. Alright, so that went quickly. This was the tutorial on how to make simple flashing animations seamlessly with the rest of the animations. I will save this, and, wow, maybe I won't save it. But, uh, so, man, I feel like I should be saying something else, but I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. I will probably be posting more tutorials later, maybe, maybe, don't get your hopes up. 
Oh, feel free to get your hopes up. It's gonna happen eventually. But anyway, I'm that guy over there. Hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial, and I will probably post this, a link to this file, in the video, even though it's incredibly simple. But I'll post it anyway. So, see you later. Have a nice day. And I should probably remember how to stop my video. Alright, now, have a nice day, and goodbye.